Hello guys, my name is Carlton and welcome to another tutorial. This one is how to calculate pigs in CPAC. So first and foremost, you set your working directory where you want to, the folder that you want to work in. So after that, uh, you create, you go to survey. If you don't have a database already connected, you go to survey, then you open a new database then the database name you write it the name that you want to give to that database then you say apply then you apply database type for my laptop i am using 2007 then i say apply create a station errors table blah 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 for this tutorial it doesn't matter but if you want to you can then i apply a survey here yeah. When there is no any box that doesn't have a, a tick here, means it's going to show up in our final uh, database. So I'm taking the ones that we need, um, unmarking the ones that we need. So the after you say apply. There you go, database CM has been created. Then from there, if you already have a database now you can start from here you want to use uh, some pegs in a csv file let me go back so that you want to use some pegs which is peg 1439 and this one is our big site then this one will, will, will be our uh, the peg that you want to calculate so from there let me go back from there you go to survey remember this database is empty it didn't have these pigs so we go to survey station then you say insert record then you say apply then you select the ones that you want to remove that doesn't matter station order our this method yeah i think this one's i need them the elevation remove the base bearing i'll remove it flow set i'll remove it i'm left with this then i say apply so you can see now you input the information that we have a point id that's p one four three nine then dead stem you put the year first then the month and the day then level this is the level where the the area where the peg is it's in the level h then you continue putting the information this is the, uh, the y value for the peg the x value and the set value i will try to be a bit fast now station type we are calculating underground peak so it's ug and that one doesn't matter the severe it's me so i'll put cm survey date i'll put the same date as the calculation date stem uh, checked by now myself field book number for one and page number five then I say apply then you can see that inserted row is, is not there so I have already done this so I'll just go to survey database then I'll close this database then I'll open this one that the one routine card i will just drag it here now that database is connected so from there survey you go to underground underground travels now you are inputting the information for the the new for the new peg that you want to calculate a level of the new station is in level h calculated by cm 
checked by Carly. A book, short book number one, number let's put seven. Location, I will name it P one four six seven, and I will save it as a PDF file. You can save it whatever format that you want. Then from here, as you can see, uh, the back side, as you name the back side, like I did here, it will give you the coordinates for the back side. Then we have the setup station, which is two, for, in this case it's our uh, P114. Then you, in this, you can see it now. It's now giving us the coordinates for the uh, four side because we have already entered it of the setup station because we have already entered it in our database. If it wasn't there in our database, it wasn't going to read. So you had to input it first. So four side, the four side is the pick that we want to. Do. So I'm naming it. Then there is the instrument height. This is where you put the instrument height. If it's underground and the peg is on the roof, it's booked as a negative. Then, sorry, yeah. Then the level where it is H and reverse. Now we are going here. Reverse check. Check the distance to peg side. Then you you put your observed angle vertical angle from setup station you are putting your observed angle when you're observing the big site so it's degrees then it's followed by minutes which are two digits then seconds you don't need to put a comma there then after that we continue big site check calculate to give you the angle which is supposed to be that's our angle Big side elevation, you check, it's giving us entry 1002.8700. And that's the distance in error, which is acceptable with 0, 0.006, depending on the machine that you are using to do the surveys. Then you go to horizontal angles. Our horizontal angle is uh, for the big side. You put degrees, minutes, and seconds. For the full site, again, degrees, a comma, minutes, and seconds. Then you go to vertical angle. Now, uh, we were doing a double button, so we will have two targets, the bottom and the top. For, so for the top, the vertical angle for the top it's 117 this remember this information is what we have so from the field you insert it there then for the big for the second bob comma three 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 five that's the target elevation then target size and distance Remember, we have the double button. If you are having one double button, you should go where it says one target. Then, height for the station to target height. We have 0, 0,71. I, would, I had already put in this P before. Then, we have this one. Then, height to flow from target. You put your information. Then, target horizontal distance. Sometimes, so the horizontal distance is 13,017. Depending where you start your your your, your tape, mine started at zero. So the part I will just put zero. If it started on three, I will just put three. Then it will subtract on its own. So from now, I will continue. You can start from wherever you want. You just have to put the bookings. Then reverse distance. This I don't mind, then you just say calculate coordinates. They are the coordinates. And if you check, you have to check them with the P that you did. Before I do that, I'll just hit apply. And you are done on calculating the coordinates.